Spots are just downright annoying. The problem is hard water spots, but a Culligan water softener can help get rid of them throughout your home. So for better water, call your Culligan man today. Right now, solve your water problems for as little as $10 a month for six months. The Petoskey-Sheboygan football rivalry goes back generations. On Friday, the Northmen went on a tear that won't soon be forgotten by many who witnessed it at Sheboygan's Western Avenue Field. A 36-yard touchdown pass play from quarterback Mike Patello to fullback Kelsey Heinrich, a 27-yard interception return for a TD by Vince D'Agostino, and a one-yard scoring run by Mike Suter in a span of just over five minutes in the second quarter sparked the Northmen to a 42-21 non-conference victory on Friday night. Petoskey's second-quarter scoring barrage gave it a 28-7 halftime lead over the Chiefs, who lost their second straight game to slip to 3-2. and two. The Northmen scored on their first two possessions of the second half for a commanding 42-7 advantage midway through the third quarter. Both of those touchdowns capped short drives, one of 30 yards, the other of 19. Sheboygan committed three turnovers on the night, all of which led directly to Petoskey scores. A first-quarter Sheboygan fumble was recovered by Petoskey's Keith Hansen at the Chief 5-yard line, and two plays later, Suter scored to give Petoskey a 7-0 lead. James Proctor, number 21, led Petoskey with 75 yards rushing on the night, while Suter finished with 55. Mike Pigash, number 27, led Sheboygan with 153 yards rushing and two touchdowns. It was Petoskey's second straight victory in the long and storied rivalry between the schools, a rivalry that began with their first meeting in 1900. The Northmen improved to 5-0 and and are ranked 9th in the Associated Press in the Division Three state poll, and 7th by the Detroit Free Press. Petoskey plays host to Sault Ste. Marie in a non-league game on Friday, October 2nd. 